Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hofilanya and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa insists drug syndicates, not vigilante groups, are responsible for some cases of extrajudicial killings in the past months. De La Rosa adds the PNP has, quote, the data and scientific evidence to support it. This comes a week before the Senate probe on alleged extrajudicial killings during police operations. Since July 1, more than 600 illegal drug suspects are killed in police operations. De La Rosa also hits back at critics who suggested that police use tasers instead of firearms during anti-drug operations. He says, quote, I don't see any reason why you want to emasculate the PNP. Do you want us to die? The Supreme Court sets oral arguments on the petition opposing a hero's burial for the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos Wednesday, August 24. Martial law victims and Bayan Muna filed a petition to stop the burial of Marcos at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani or Hero Cemetery Monday, August 15. The High Court also directs Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, the Armed Forces of the Philippines and former First Lady Imelda Marcos to respond to the petition on Monday, August 22. The petitioner said the planned burial in September will jeopardize the $2 billion claim for damages against the Marcoses for their human rights violations. <music> President Rodrigo Duterte urges Congress to eliminate redundant functions and offices under the executive branch. Duterte wants lawmakers to pass the Streamlining the Government Act that aims to review the functions and organizational structure of the executive branch, merge and abolish agencies, improve efficiency of operations and delivery of services, and provide separation packages for employees who will be affected by the streamlining. The number of government departments and offices rose from 176 in 2000 to 186 in 2016, with government employees swelling up to about 1.5 million. The Supreme Court rejects the resignation of a judge in President Rodrigo Duterte's drug list. SE spokesman Theodore Te says the High Court rejects the irrevocable resignation of Judge Ezequiel Dagala of the Municipal Trial Court in Dapa, Surigao del Norte, because he is already being investigated in connection with other alleged offenses prior to being named by Duterte. Te says, quote, he remains under the jurisdiction of the court as far as administrative discipline is concerned and will be subject to the fact-finding investigation to be conducted by retired Justice Roberto A. Abad. The SC ordered a probe on four of the seven judges on Duterte's drug list on August 9. <music> Filipino-American trackster Eric Cray qualifies for the semifinals of the men's 400-meter hurdles in the 2016 Olympics on May in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Cray finishes third in Heat 4 of Round 1 of competition with a time of 49.05 seconds. The top three finishers of each of the six heats will advance to the semifinals along with the next six fastest runners. The two-time Southeast Asian Games gold medalist will run the semifinals on Wednesday. The final, should he make it, will be on Thursday. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch your updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hafilenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.